How to create an incrementing or decrementing percentage effect in DaVinci Resolve 18.6. Inside your Projects Edits window, go to Effects. Underneath Toolbox, select Titles and go to click and drag a text plus edit to your timeline. Use the Selection Mode tool, which you can also do by pressing A, to click and drag at the end of the edits to change the duration. Keeping an eye on the duration difference between your original edit and the edited version, which you can see with the time code at the top of the black box which appears next to your cursor, and the overall duration of the edit in the bottom time code. With this text plus edit selected, go to Inspector, underneath Title and Text, remove the default characters from the text box. Right click inside this text box, select Expression, Inside the expression box which appears below your text box with an addition symbol, type in the built-in function min with opening and closing rounded brackets. This built-in function will return the lowest value entered within these brackets to the screen in text format. Since we want the percentage numerical values to be whole numbers, inside the parentheses we must type the floor function which also contains rounded brackets. Inside the parentheses for the floor function, type in zero which will be the initial value displayed at the start of your animated percentage effect. Since we want this value to increment, we will add the addition symbol next to this, and then add a new set of rounded brackets, so that the percentage will increment in accordance to passing time. To help us understand how we can make the percentage change at a certain speed, we can first identify the number of stills that play per second on our current project timeline. Go to Project Settings in the bottom right corner of your interface. And in the Master Settings area, we can see that the frame rate for this particular project timeline is 24. If I were therefore to write time divided by 24 here, the percentage will increment by 1 after each second. The lower this value, the faster your percentage will increment. In this particular case, I'm going to reduce the 24 to 1. As part of the min function, we need to specify a second value which goes with the zero. In this particular case, it will be the maximum value that I wish for my percentage to reach, which will be 100. Go to the left of the last closing bracket, type in comma, and type in 100. In order to have the percentage sign displayed alongside your number, go beyond the last closing bracket and type in two full stops. And in apostrophes, type in the percentage sign. Once you click off the expression field, you should see the percentage appearing on your screen. Adjust the font style, colour and size as you wish. In this particular case, I'm going to choose the font style Harlow Solid Italic with the colour white and size set to 0.2. Depending on your font choice, if you feel that the percentage symbol is too close to your number, you can add a space to the left of the percentage symbol inside the apostrophes or speech marks by pressing space. If the gap now is too wide, you can undo by holding in Control or Command if you're a Mac user and pressing Z, and manually adjust the space between each character by adjusting the tracking value under Inspector. Bear in mind that this will affect all characters that you have in your text message and not just the percentage symbol. What if you wish for the percentage value to decrement instead, such as going from 100% to 0%? To apply this effect, we must ensure that the expression first returns the maximum value given in our function. In this initial example, we use the min function to return the 0 instead of the 100. To have the percentage go down from 100 instead, change min to max. Then swap the 0 and 100 around. And finally, to make the percentage decrement, change the addition symbol to minus. Use the center X and Y and size properties underneath layout in Inspector to make further adjustments to the size and position of your percentage on screen. And bear in mind that the surrounding of the percentage is transparent, enabling the user to see an image or video behind the animated text. Thank you very much for watching. I hope that video is useful to you. If you enjoyed the content and wish to be notified about future uploads on this channel, please like, share and subscribe. Join me soon for another video. Take care.